Right now, in this moment, that um, this is the year of Matt. Since yes. the last the we're year, at, we're actually Matt. our third year what of podcasting. Year That's hard to believe. Not. This is our third year of podcasting. That is correct. Three Fiscal decades. Year. Fiscal year. Um, recording year. Recording year of, yeah. of podcast. But right, Matt said, Matt and friends. So um, if you're watching for the first time, Matt McGill, Doug Fields, <laughs> Josh Griffin, <laughs> and Matt's phone, and Jana, the queen, starting. Oh, this is volunteer. But Do you need to take it? I don't. Uh, but she, uh, she's but you don't vacation. know how to silent your phone. Yeah. I'll yeah, silent it. Right down the home button and then put profile silent. <laughs> Carolyn Kruby, you do matter to me, but not during the podcast. That away. That away. Hey, is this our first podcast of 08? 08. Oh my god. Now that we're happy. No way, really? Year. Speaking of 08, I thought it was 09 the other day. I almost threw out <laughs> some soy milk because it. It goes bad on Okay, March. first off, why, why do you? Yeah, soy why do you have soy milk? Well, it was left over in my garage. There was nothing else left, and so. Um, Why is it in your garage? Because you there's a big box. It, you don't have to you put it in the refrigerator. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's you don't have to put it soy milk? Yeah. No. no. Not Even after you open it? Oh, once it's open. Yeah, once oh, it's so. open, you do. So it said March of 09. I pour it in my cup and I smell it. and all It, it smelled, smelled like okay. soy milk. It smelled it okay. Like but I ended up throwing it out. Misha's like, what are you doing? I go, well, it expires March and March of 08. And she's like, yeah. 09. No. Oh, 09. 08. And she's like, yeah, it's still good. I go, but it's 09, Mish. Um, and it's not even March yet, though. Well, I know, but I thought we were in 09, which is definitely past March. Oh, yeah, wow. I got the bit. Jan got, the, I'm sorry, I'm really yeah. slow on the update. Either way, the milk was fine, and your cereal was Yeah, delicious. so I had some the next day. All right. Wow. Now, why are you drinking soy? What's the deal? We, we were out of milk. New Year's resolutions? We were, no, I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah, based on maybe you can like are surprised by that. Yeah, I yeah. can't, can't why? imagine why Matt wouldn't have New Year's resolutions. I, yeah, you seem like you'd really do know the answer to that. I think I do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just had some soy milk because there's no regular. New milk. Year's remind him of his mom. <laughs> oh. Reminds him of burning his house down. Oh, <laughs> I don't really get no, because New Year's resolution is for the mentally weak. Ah. You should be strong all year round. You don't need a little crutch at New Year's. For someone with the strength and mental okay, toughness. Okay, and that, I would say health. that's that's half of it. I mean, yeah. you can make a resolution anytime you want to. But the other half of it, which is me, yes. I'm like, is the fact that nobody ever keeps them. And so it's like huh. we talk about New Year's resolutions. nobody ever keeps them, forget it for you. Forget why, it for everybody Why have else. a good, healthy month? Yeah, just when you're just January 10 too. days. Why, yeah. why coddle your feelings and make it feel like you're actually doing something when you're really not? I agree. Why coddle people? That's right. Well, no, the no, third no. reason is if you're other coddling, people do it, then why would yourself. Matt do it? So You're coddling it's yourself. It's a little too trendy to have Okay, so exactly. today it's like the 24th or something yeah. like that. It'll which, be February which, before the show goes up. Well, if, if Andy's in charge. <laughs> it'll be March now 09. Now the fact that Chris is in charge, it'll probably go up tomorrow or tonight. But... Um, Wishful Why is it taking us so long to get together? For uh, oh, that's a good call. Oh, wait. Well, I thought was it was funny when you were like, bring your calendars because you're the busy calendar. Yeah. We sit around all day with nothing. <laughs> I almost hit reply to all and said, who's going to bring Doug's calendar? <laughs> but I didn't want to be a smart aleck. <laughs> you were already a smart aleck. Yesterday you said, 45 emails. Yeah, it, only took after, us, yeah. it only took us 45 emails to nail a time down. I was merely congratulating everyone's resolution. <laughs> Wait, should we talk about last week when I actually came to do the podcast oh, yeah. and nobody was here? Yeah, I didn't get the memo. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, she calls. Was it canceled? Yeah, it was canceled. That's Just awesome. Come home. Sorry. Where, uh, <laughs> I thought you were at a conference yeah. last week and that's why we didn't do it. No, it was scheduled no, it was for like Wednesday, Wednesday or something. Yeah. Last we Wednesday? canceled from, for some reason. Yeah, it's just not going to work out. Let's not do it. But it was only on email, and Janet didn't get it. I didn't. And here we are. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know so that. So you have a little surprise <laughs> over there. I have a little surprise okay. as we start the new year. We have, um, this was emailed to me, which I had never heard of uh, this award before. But uh, let's just give some categories. There was the best social network, and the best social network. Awards from who? Um, the people that give these awards. Oh, okay. Yeah. The That's best good. social network was um, Facebook. Okay. No Other nominees, MySpace, yeah. LinkedIn, MyChurch. Yeah. What? 
my church yeah, is in good. that way. Facebook should win. They, they did, yeah. All right. Best. So we know these people are credible. Great. Best church yeah. media software. So okay. So they could media be shout three point two. Media shout. Media shout makes sense. Pro presenter three. Oh, oh we use that. It's a good one. Really? Is it good? Yeah, we do. Um, Who's we? At the, the regionals. Yeah. Yeah. Live it comes worship? out of is Andy Sandler's church. Live no. worship probably is on the bottom. I'm surprised. Me Media like Shout that. Express. Yeah, they're not popular yet. Hmm. Easy Worship 2007. Then there was another Easy category worship, yeah. called Best Ministry Theology Podcast. The, Which should have been this one. Oh, Where did we sad. get ranked? Should have been, been this one? <laughs> yes. We won it, sucker. Exactly. Wait, are you serious? That's right. The <laughs> Theology <laughs> Podcast? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's right. Best Ministry Theology Podcast. Oh, Ministry oh, slash Theology? Oh, so they gave it to us for the, for ministry. <laughs> no, Maybe. for theology. <laughs> Maybe they well, gave it been. been for theology. Yeah. What have we said that's been Either wrong? Either way, we won. <laughs> we're, we're equal what with we said that's wrong. Facebook. Nothing, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Your New Year's resolution. But, um, oh, those poor people. It says simply youth that ministries. Voted for us. <laughs> Wait, so people are listening to us right now? <laughs> Seriously. Hold on. Simply youth ministries not. podcast, like so many other things they do, is a great blend of humor, personality, and practical tips and resources for youth ministry. And theology. Commonly called <laughs> Doug and his friends. No, just kidding. I was going to say, I gave five bucks to Andy wrote that. <laughs> Basically, they have the entertain and inform approach down pat. Even if you're not in youth ministry, theirs is an example of what a great podcast is looks like. Mm. Wow. Inform Some other nominees were... knowledge <laughs> stuck in our heads. Well, yeah. Let's not talk about the losers. <laughs> oh, don't talk about the other Wait, nominees. Wait, we aren't? No, that's we, not nice. There's no honest. great... There's so no what, great... What's the award, though? Just the... Yeah, what do we get? Yeah. Well, it was, I feel it was in the magazine. Up already. <laughs> Clyde Magazine, where media and Success church converge. Its, own, its, it's actually own. a very good magazine. Yeah, I know those guys. They're cool. They, they, they had a best blogging platform, uh, best oh, tech man. blog... Best Ministry Theology blog. Really? Oh, uh -huh. in Gadget Gun. Next huh? year. I, that's one blog I look Next at. Next year. In Gadget? <laughs> yeah, it's much more interesting. Best oh, Faith and Art blog. Kind of, I want to kind of peek and see who beat Josh me on the blog Josh is kind of bummed. Right He'd now. rather win the blog oh, than yeah. the podcast uh, I bet thing. You, I, I don't even want to know who won. But right, tell let's, me let's who won the blog. Won the is Josh is even on the list? No. no. Oh, of course not. Oh, they have good ones on there, though. Wait, which one? Church Marketing Sucks won, and they're really, really good. Um, Swerve is from Life Church. They're great, and I've listened to the Catalyst Space too. They've got some great stuff from you know Andy Stanley and all their Catalyst speakers. So, but that's a blog. But that's a blog. It's not listen. This yeah. isn't. Dude, this MSN isn't. Spaces is it me mentioned as the best blog? A blocking Where platform. Is even on the platform? <laughs> oh man. So in space is rock. So yeah, those are great <laughs> blogs. I read actually. I read three of the five that were nominated. Hey, so, so anyway, guys, we should we should celebrate I by having celebrate. Uh, sandwiches delivered here today. Yeah, oh, pizza. Man, <laughs> pizza would be a lot nicer. What about a cake? <laughs> we right, love each so other, but when you make a mistake that is as boneheadish as promising pizza and then showing up with <laughs> tuna <laughs> fish sandwiches. <laughs> That, we just can't live that down. Wait, we're, there's we're an improvement, though, because two weeks ago, Andy said he was we were better off getting lunch on our own because he wasn't going to buy That's lunch. That's true. So, that, that, it was so quick. No. Okay, so oh, here, here's whatever. the story. Used to be paid to do this Tell show. the pregnant <laughs> lady that. How eat lunch on your way when you're yeah. rushing over. Yes. <laughs> Hope you don't go into delivery. Come on. <laughs> I, I foresaw what was going to happen anyways. We didn't we, so anyway, we uh, come here. We don't near, normally do a lunchtime podcast. Usually it's at 4 o'clock or something at yeah. the end of the day, but... Uh, we're all Matt's, the sharpest. Matt's schedule, <laughs> <laughs> uh, being such it is, we didn't. We really wow. work around Matt. Yeah. Um, Future of the church is oh. easy. And Matt, so Matt and we said we, the only and time we could do it was at twelve thirty today. So no, I are. said any time all day today. You did. You did. Okay. I was being sarcastic. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, <clears throat> I missed the sarcastic. He was a I sarcastic think. monkey. <laughs> That's right. What is that? What? Have you ever been to Sarcastic Monkeys? It's a podcast that they, it's a, they read and edit. They comment on our podcast. Yeah, they review our podcast. But they're back on like podcast number six or something. No, they're on like they're 47. They're so far behind. 47 now? What are we at mention. now? They're very funny. Yeah, what is 46 this? 46 right now. What number are we? What number is this show? Sixty-four. And what do they do? Wow. I've never even heard of this. You, yeah, we've read some of their our, stuff before. Yeah, they review our podcast. It's every very week. funny. Verbally? Apparently, or, their no, vote didn't matter in the Clyde in magazine the poll, though. <laughs> yeah. <'cause> oh, sarcastic <laughs> monkeys, we beat you. <laughs> uh, we don't know who they are. But we I don't need to worry about it. They're not going to listen to this for another six years. That's true. Because they're so far behind. I secretly think it's Doug, and he's had a blog for a long time that's just called Sarcastic Monkeys. Well, yeah. is it is it a 
positive blog on The thing on is, us, he doesn't know how to blog. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they love it. It's their favorite thing in the world. Oh, it's that's great. nice. It's, yeah. it's funny. Sarcastic. It's super sarcastic, well, which yeah. is, you know, our spiritual We don't guess. know anything about that. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, we've got a lot, of, a lot of questions. Look how thick this is, but... Write in more because here's what happens. Josh prints them off and they go to the top of my list. <laughs> <laughs> the key is I printed them off. Yeah, you did. This week. You did. And last Today, week I printed them got off em. for a show got that em. never happened. I know, and I'm not exactly sure where those are, but I don't know if you guys saw this <laughs> folder. Indications. Podcast. Well, year. Oh, is that a new one, though? Third year if you don't know where last week's are? No. 500th type of filing system for our <laughs> <laughs> So today we walk into our, our room and there was a... Are we going to talk Pri- about this? Priority mail. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We walked in the well, room. We walked in the room, and I, I laughed at that, that. I feel like Tony Dungy. New year, new budget, man. New year, new budget? <laughs> Did you buy this for the podcast? New banner. Yeah, we bought it for another project. Oh, you bought it for another project? Oh, but it it's project. dual purpose, right? Dual purpose. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't buy it for another project. Now, if we turn the lights on and off, also. does it turn into a dollar sign? It will be. <laughs> glow in the dark. Actually, Black through the video it. camera, there's a hidden message. <laughs> Buy on code. Look closely. There's not. Free product. Buy the new product. Um, <laughs> you have some products to mention. If you want to <laughs> oh, look at Andy. <laughs> no, you oh, know, we wow. give Andy a hard time, but, you know, the rest of us actually get paid by a church. And, yeah. And Andy gets paid by people that buy product. Yes. So, um, Andy. Buy stuff, support Andy's life. Yeah. Um, so we walk in here, and in addition to us heckling at the um, yes. the, the backdrop here, and for the people not on video, what we're laughing at is oh, the, yeah. we have a Simply Youth Ministry. There's a backdrop. giant banner behind all of us on the show. Yeah. Today. But we walk in, and there's this priority mail with a uh, DVD in here from a guy that lives in Indianapolis because there was, this is kind of the big moment, Matt. This is a big moment. Yeah. There Drum was there. the thought that Matt was not going to go to Indianapolis, and we're going to do a live podcast at the Simply Youth Ministry Group Conference, and um, <clears throat> Matt is now going. The big news is Matt is going to Cincinnati. Yeah, it's kind of a good news, bad news. The bad news is there's rebellion in Kenya, and so Misha can't go and yeah, get your right. adopted baby. But the good news is, because of the rebellion in Kenya and Misha not going, you and Misha are coming to Indianapolis. Yeah, it's it's amazing how Providence really. works out. <laughs> That's right. Kind of Slash a moment theology the podcast. That's right. <laughs> That's so, why we won. Like the great like accept that. on behalf of all of our team. <laughs> so anyway, there were some guys that were riding in, and there was this guy, um, Jason Underwood, who was, I called him the front runner, and it's the one, one email that we've kind of kept in there, and he sent... Did he send a video? Yeah, he sent a video, and yeah. I was kind of goofing on him that couldn't really hear him very yeah, well and things like pretty that. Pretty strong accent. <coughs> <coughs> wow. Here we go. He says, Dear Doug, yeah. there's a horrible Should rumor in circulation that brings your integrity into question. <laughs> As, rather than assume the worst about you, I thought it would be best to come to you directly so there's no confusion. This ugly rumor suggests that you might have decided to renege. Can you say that word? Yeah, yeah I'm just wondering if he spelled it right. That's... Rene, Renege, it's French. Yeah. <laughs> Decided to renege on the promise of a podcast sit-in winner at the conference in February. I trust this is only a rumor. Over the years, you've obviously been very careful to establish yourself as a man of integrity. In fact, oh. in the foreword of PDYM, Rick Warren comments on just how impressed he was with you and your personal integrity. What a shame it would... I didn't even remember Rick wrote the foreword. Oh, wow, PDYM. that guy... Wow. He's That's the only reason why it sold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. With a I'd new expanded forward. <laughs> <laughs> Updated forward. Yeah. <laughs> Same inside. Five chapters of forward. Bigger font on Rick's name on the front of your book. <laughs> what a shame it would be to prove him wrong after all these years. It is indeed horrible to think that you might be cruel enough to dangle the proverbial carrot in Ooh. front of your sit in hungry audience and not deliver after weeks of promotion. As I read him, I'm thinking maybe he did spell Renee correctly. I think maybe we're He's wrong. actually I'll a good writer, and he's... And I think... <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's one of his resolutions to work on spelling. As the uh, current front runner, which he was, it, though, right? Like everybody else. <laughs> which he was. He was? The current front runner, is. Or like, is. Uh, yeah. I would find it incredibly disappointing to find that my efforts were for naught, as would anyone who might have been fortunate enough to dethrone me. But since this is just a rumor... I'm sure we've got nothing to worry about. See you in February. Now, Jason, I do hope we see you in February. Yeah. But He's going to be there. I know. The kind of the condition was that <clears throat> it was if you weren't going to be there. That's we, what I thought. We don't need a fifth voice. But he said, he said that he heard differently. 
Well, then uh, track down the. Um, and I told him just to quote a podcast number. Say, hey, yeah, in 32, this is what you said. No one was going to look it up. Uh, but he didn't follow my advice. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I need to actually hear the audio of us saying that even if Matt shows up, we would have somebody. Well, now, we can do this. Yeah. We can't. We are, we, I got an email this week that says um, they wanted to put us in the ballroom for the podcast. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I said, I don't think the ballroom. <laughs> yeah. I, God. No. It's weird with all the dancing going on. No, we, uh, the ballroom's going to see 2,000 people. Exactly. You know how many people Wait. are going to come to this? Matt and his friends. No. Come on. Matt Big will show. email everyone. No, how many I people said, are signed up for could, the conference? We could easily Like 2,000. It's going to sell out. We but I said. Seven or eight it's kind of small for a show. conference. We could easily. <laughs> <laughs> I said, um, I said, no, put us in the small room. Yeah. Put us in the small room. No. And I yeah. said, all we need <clears throat> is a table. What do you mean by small room, though? Like a 30-seater? No. 3,000-seater? Like no, no. It'll seat a couple hundred if it oh, needed that's to be. Fine. Yeah. It needed yeah. to be. Besides, in your heart, you know, you're still thinking the youth ministry days of people are standing up and busting out the doors. That would be great. Yeah. No, here's what I'm thinking. And you thought in a whisper voice, actually, too. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm With thinking. an urgent future leadership. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was thinking vision. Friday night at the conference, it'll be fun for us. Okay. But there'll probably be, here's what I was thinking, 50. What time at night? Yeah. Two well, in the morning? The no, it's like 10, 10, 10 yeah, I mean, like 10.30 I mean, at night. I think we did okay, two in the morning. Okay, I was just we'll asking what time is that, 10 o'clock at night? Yeah. Okay, we that's only sharp. 8 o'clock. Here's what I was thinking, today. too. We really need to do two there. We should record two podcasts and then <laughs> post them two different Two we weeks. Do that. Yeah. Group, Maybe. Group well, one, let's group let's. Okay. Here's we're the deal. We're so ambitious. Jason. <laughs> yeah. We can do Remember, one in three weeks of January, <laughs> but we're gonna be <laughs> do two in four well, days. We, we will be all together. I hear. Are we sharing a room too? Oh, dude. I've got. I heard. <laughs> we've got a great room. Uh, we've yeah. We've got a great room. Oh okay. man. Uh, we don't want to. Let's yeah. talk about it in front of yeah. Josh and Janet. I was going to say, uh, I, my room actually sucks. I no, don't know. No, no. <laughs> you know what? I, I actually, I yeah. wanted to follow that email. I got 11, email I got 11 you people. blog on this? <laughs> no. <laughs> what I wanted to do is I thought, I thought, because we have, we have this suite, you know. Oh, cool. Be, because it's Who's group. Who's we again? Well, <laughs> you know, group and Simply Youth Ministry the putting this conference the on. important people. Group, oh, yeah. Tom and, uh, Tom and I'll Joni. I'll be three floors down <laughs> Me and my 11 friends. other dudes in my room. Tom and Joni. <laughs> A group are going to get a nice suite, <laughs> and then group oh. or a simple youth ministry is going to get a nice suite. Oh. And right now, oh. it's it used to You're say <laughs> it used to say Doug Fields is simply youth ministry. <laughs> right now, there, what happened? That logo does look a little different. Uh, it yeah. will say Andy soon. Yeah. Andy Brazelton. Shoot, what happened simply to that? It used to yeah. be it used Doug to Fields is simply youth ministry. It doesn't fit with that market. That, uh, that market. What market? That, that market. <laughs> and identity. Oh, um, so awesome. Andy so and his anyway, wife will have the suite, and you. So will be... we got the suite, and there's like four rooms attached to it. Oh, that's cool. Well, so the Fields kids are going, and then. Oh, cool! I, I asked Tori; she said she wasn't sure. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Though. They're, they're going, and then Matt and Misha are going to be in one, Sweet. and then I really actually thought about you and Jake, but then I remember what your room looked like last year. Oh yeah, it was pretty crazy. Mm, no, we're going to be filming videos. We're doing yeah. all the general session programming. We, yeah, it's probably better if we have our own closet to sleep in yeah. while you guys are in the mansion yeah yeah well you know if totally, you want food totally fine if you want food come on up. okay um well my key be... access me to your floor nah, probably usually not. yeah probably not oh, oh, man. Man. so uh, <laughs> anyway like jason jason has the been the front runner in this in this deal and we got but a new then, dvd today then we got david morris sent this email okay he says i made a video to submit in my bid to take the open seat See, he oh, says yeah. take the open seat. Oh. So David Morris, he gets he it. He, he gets knows, it. Yeah. Already Jason Underwood is, no. Uh, take the open seat during the live podcast at the Youth Ministry Conference in Cincinnati. Only problem is I loaded onto YouTube and said I was loading an invalid file, so I burned it onto DVD and I sent it to you guys. So we pull in today. We look at the DVD. Aside from the he couldn't get it on lame, YouTube. Lame yeah, piano music. That almost feels like a disqualification. I kind of was thinking that myself. As great yeah. as the video is, you gotta it's, well, you click well, upload and we, it's done. And we gotta yeah, we I mean, gotta post you it. Unless created it in like orbit format or with a Dell or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even a true format. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> orbit awesome. is like a. Yeah. yeah, flight search website. Anyway, we watched the video. <laughs> and gum. Not anymore, like early <laughs> Orbit. Yeah. Orbit. We watched the video, and, yeah, and we, I liked it. Yeah, it's funny. I liked the video, and he kind of, not only that, he set himself up. It was up, a little long. He set himself up. Well, you said it was long, like eight seconds in. 
<laughs> no, come on. He was talking about a shot. Yeah. A couple of the yeah. shot links. Yeah, oh, that's what he meant. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was it clever. Was and he set himself fun. up against Jason Underwood. So it was yeah. a little bit of a, okay, pal, Throwing you think you're the, the top gauntlet, runner. So to come speak. on. Yeah. Come on. So well, I don't know how we're going to decide. With Matt that. going, though, will we yeah, pull up another decision? chair? Will there be a guest spot I, for we a, don't need Josh. a segment? <laughs> yeah, I'll <laughs> probably be busy in my suite with my <laughs> four rooms. You can still give up my seat. I'll just be hanging out. Are we uh, have actually, Xboxes I think we had, to, we had to make the decision about Josh's, about where to put Josh on Sunday night. That's when I was on um, emailing. Yeah. And about an hour earlier... <laughs> I was, Whoa, I was, great. I was emailing, and I think maybe part of the there was this aroma coming from my house yeah. that made me go. Oh. Why don't you put happened? Josh? Have you not we heard this story? We might have had a a night where the flu hit my children while they were at Doug's house, <laughs> while we were watching the football game, while we were on their nice furniture on their carpet, and now it was it, it was, was awesome. Your McGill. kids read on the couch. No, it wasn't. Projectile it wasn't read. It was projectile vomiting. And sweet little Austin, phenomenal. who's four, three, four, four. Mark had that. Did you need to call your wife and find that out? No, I'm good. <laughs> no you're okay. Um, Austin is asleep. On we're watching. That we're watching awesome. the football game, and there's you know five, Aww. you know high school yeah, leaders amazing. around stuff like. Thanks for the invite, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, you'll leaders. be in the suite. Shut up. Here we go. All of a sudden, Austin sits up. <laughs> and did it go like this far? Oh, it was, dude, it was unbelievable. like a unbelievable. fire hose was turned yeah. on. Yeah. And it was all, went all over the that. place. Aww. And yeah. poor kid. And Josh was, just got throw up all over himself. He goes and takes his son in the bathroom. And they're showering. And Kathy and I are scrambling. Well, everybody that was there were all single guys. So oh, they're they're the stunned. They just they're, have no idea. They what didn't to do. even talk. They just sat in their <laughs> they sat in their chairs and just looked at it. Kind Lucky of, right? they didn't throw up though. Seriously. No, I'm not, <laughs> and Kathy and I are scrambling. Ooh. We're doing all Pulling kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and and probably for twenty minutes oh, yeah. cleaning up as it these guys remarkable. are in the shower. And these guys, <laughs> they had no idea what to do. Oh. Well, and the story actually gets even a little bit better or oh. worse. I mean, I look at it. I'm driving the boys home. Austin now feels great because he's yeah absolutely yeah, he feels yeah. awesome and Christian says oh I feel really sick so in my car on the way down the hill Christian loses it in the car so we ruined your house ruined my car and you can have the suite I'm fine with it now yeah <laughs> really you yeah, deserve I was more than say, that I think that's one I had to answer hey so we're episode uh, 63 can we move along more. a little bit here? yeah we got an email got from so um, already. <laughs> We got an email from Brad from Maryboro Baptist Church in Queensland. He said, "What happened to the video?" Australia. Of, yeah. yeah. What happened to the video Good for night. episode 63? I tried to watch it. I was getting distracted by the audio being slightly out of sync with the video. Oh. It was all okay until Josh started his trademark laughter. Once I realized it didn't match up with his movements, every m moment I watched was like a train wreck. Interesting to see, but definitely not something to keep. Staring at. I'm guessing we won the award before that show. <laughs> yeah. Apparently so. <laughs> they was it based on quality? Yeah. Well, that's for they sure. They didn't actually watch our show. They have happened. trains in Australia? Oh, yeah. The okay. Link. The Link. Great. Huh? Koalas? <laughs> the Dark. Um, this is from Matt Mosley, Refreshing dark. Podcast. A Lost the Wheel Does Not dark. Spin, My Day Grows Colder. Oh, is that I, a haiku? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. very funny. <laughs> <laughs> I just like haikus. No, that was great. The fact we, that you knew what a haiku was. It's not a no Oh, it. You don't know what haiku is. You guys, that's the name of the subject line. Oh. Griff. That, oh. <laughs> that is, that's the kind of crap, Griff, that I cannot put up with. That make is a unbelievable. Matt, make a resolution right now to not allow that type of humor. I've never. It's not humor. It's called. Oh, man. You got me. So Aww. he read it over my shoulder and in the it, subject the, line. And Jim. Yeah. Uh, oh. Remember, I still read every email that comes in. <laughs> so Just he, enough youth ministry, not enough integrity. <laughs> uh. anything, anything for a bit. It's all worth it. Hey, here's a Sell question the I have. All right, more than out. more than dodgeball.com. That's yeah. your URL yeah, for your yeah, blog. Yeah, my blog. That'll win next is, year in Collide magazine. Is this a um, <laughs> is this a podcast email? So it came in to my blog, <laughs> yeah. but it looked like something that was better about the podcast, better better served at the podcast. So I thought I'd just throw it into the pile and see if you guys would take a crack at it. So you changed your blog to from yeah. simply Josh to yeah. 
more than dodgeball. So if you go to simply Josh, it'll redirect you to my new blog, more than dodgeball.com. Yeah. It's cool. And the it answer good. is no. No, it, it probably <laughs> is, but if it didn't come in through the podcast, we're going to well, answer the guy's question. He doesn't listen to the podcast. Oh, but he's trying to give credibility to his <clears throat> to his his uh <laughs> No, Who is it's, it's Josh addressed. or the no, guy? Yeah, Josh. Is. It's addressed to Doug and stuff. So I was like, "Oh, it's obviously a podcast." Oh. We didn't know. I thought you were trying to say. Don't you think it says something? A question, a question for Doug or anyone else with the history in the organization that could help me. Yeah, it, but if it's not a podcast okay. question, that's great. Let's let's help him. But great, great. Yeah, unless well, we say Frank well, Crockett. Now, you when you say let's help him, does that mean that email is coming to my inbox? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Jana, let's help him. I'll, I'll even tell you if he's got a legitimate question while you read no, the he does right, have what was the name of the, What was yeah. the name of the URL of that blog again? <laughs> <laughs> More than Foursquare. That was uh, a weird laugh. I know. It was a little, was a good, was this little was self-promotion really laugh. About it. Yeah, it was. Um, You've had More Than Dodgeball for a while, though. Um, About a month. He's had the really? URL for a while, but He's you haven't used URL it. All right, let's focus. Here, Here we go. go. Ruth Laverty. Here we go. J Mount Methodist, <laughs> Belfast, Ireland. Australia, Ireland. For real? Yeah. Holy. Ooh. We are going to answer questions <laughs> brought to you by pdymcommunity.com. Internet. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes! 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 yes. Or intern, uh, interns. Interns at Saddleback. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh. Or regional program. campuses. With dot the future of the church, Matt McGill, dot theologian. Dot dot spaces <laughs> dot MSN. <laughs> All right. Mm, MSN space is just the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually the only person I know who has an MSN space. I know, me too. <laughs> it's <I'm> awesome. <laughs> All right. Hey, gang. Just found out the podcast a few weeks ago. I listened to it as I drive to work each day and it inspires me. Ooh. So just keep up the encouraging it? work. I have a quick question. I'm a rookie youth pastor. I'm only 23. I feel very inexperienced in the church I'm in. Good, you but are. <laughs> As well you should. Continue. But because I'm their first youth pastor, I guess we're all learning together. I'm starting off from scratch, and I find it very... <laughs> <laughs> Andy, wait, wait, wait. Andy's in the corner. He's like totally yawning. He's like, his head's like falling in the back of I almost <laughs> threw this at Brazel's computer because I was so pissed. If we was yawning if, over if we there. we can't keep Andy awake, how are we ever going to wait? Too many miles forward. on the mountain bike. You Come on. <laughs> You're blocking me out from Andy, and I'm just watching Chris, and Chris is laughing. So. Yeah. All right, yeah. good. And his head's like That's right. Chris trying to get up. Andy yawns. Brazel's yawning. We've at least got some personality. All right. I'm starting. I'm starting. Andy, don't you know we're an award-winning podcast? <laughs> I do. Oh. Exactly. All right. Hey, can, we, can we now change the jingle, Chris? Can we add an award-winning yeah. As seen in Collide <laughs> Magazine. <laughs> yes. I'm starting off from scratch, and I find it oh. very difficult to be content with where our ministry is at the moment, especially when my other friends are telling me the exciting things they're doing with their youth groups. How do I combat the feeling of not being big enough numerically, cool enough, etc.? I want to have patience with our youth ministry and where it is, but I find it hard uh, not to get frustrated. Hmm. Ruth Laverty from Belfast, Ireland. It's a great question. I mean, how many of us haven't struggled with that whole idea of contentment? Matt probably has it. As I say, is that a resolution? <laughs> going to raise your hand. <laughs> well, you know, Ruth, 23, knew. You know, when I read it, I just wrote down the word compare because, you know, that is every time, every time we compare, uh, yeah. we, we lose. I actually, actually talking to, oh, no, it wasn't it your – kid's birthday party. Mm. I was talking to a friend and they were just saying how we were talking about New Year's. We actually got on this New Year's resolution. This person has been reading the Bible for three weeks straight. Kind of that read through the Bible yep. deal. But says, they even though eat or <laughs> what's that? They haven't been stopped reading the Bible for Yeah, weeks well, kind of like three <laughs> chapters a day type deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And said, he's tried it before, he's it never been yet. able mm. to do it. Um, and even now that he's doing it, still feels guilty that it's not a great quiet time. Oh gosh. Mm. And wow. but what what where's the guilt come from? The guilt comes from comparing yeah. how long has this person been a believer? A few years. But yeah. the, the idea that, you know, even though this person <coughs> is really trying to be in the word every day and, and right. read through the scriptures. But he doesn't feel like his quiet time is, is a good quiet time now because he's heard illustrations or story. You know, we get this idea that 
you know, people have quiet times every day and they sit on the windowsill and they look into their meadow <laughs> and, you know, birds, the birds and in, yeah. Jesus himself walks out and sends like a dove. <laughs> And music starts to play. It's yeah. the Holy Spirit that descends like a dove, not Jesus. Oh, okay. Mm. Theology. Actually, same one, same person. Okay, aren't they all one? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I um, read that somewhere. Podcast winner. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, the, you know, anytime you compare whether yeah. you're looking at a ministry down the street or, um, you know, and even when you do have exciting things going on, you know, for me, you know, there was, there was times when I'm going – we had a huge ministry and a vibrant ministry and a great ministry, and I was comparing myself to the smaller church youth worker who knew kids' names. Yeah, so mm-hmm. that's the part where I'm, when you read the question, what? I'm thinking yeah. relationships, and you know those people one-on-one. It isn't about the lights and the show, and as much as I love, my heart goes right to programming and things being pulled off with excellence and all that stuff, at the end of the day, those, are, those programs are vehicles for relationships, and you have that right now. And I pray that you don't lose it as you do grow. And as you do get more professional, I would, I would pray that you wouldn't lose it. So, is so there what's your s- phrase? You compare what you know about yourself, what you think about, to what, what you, you think, think and know, you know about them. Yeah, you're always comparing what you know about yourself to what you don't know about them. So yeah. if I compare my quiet time to Jana's quiet time, and I go, ah, you know, my quiet time's not as good, because I'm just assuming that Jana has a great quiet time. Right. Well, and but I'd I don't say, know. I'd say the other thing, too, with this, with what Ruth's describing is, I mean, a follow-up question, if we were talking to Ruth, would be, what do you do with your frustration? What do you do with your discontent? If mm. if it ruins your life, you know, I mean, if you obsess on it, if it paralyzes you, if it, um, if you can't see any joy, if you have no peace whatsoever, I mean, that's a pretty bleak picture, which I like to mm-hmm. do that. I mean, yeah, then we got some major problems. Well, you have some major problems. But, but if it's one of those things where you feel discontent and you're like, man, this is bigger than me. I have to trust God. Man, what's another idea to come over this hurdle? I mean, there's, there's good. There's, some of this can be good. I was thinking that there's a little part of it that can be healthy yeah. just as far as that drive and that ambition and that Going seeing the where you, what the potential that you ha- could have. And, you know, so there is a part of it that can be as healthy. As long as the motives are right. Right. Yeah, yeah, the motives are right. I mean, if you're if you're doing it just to be better than the next guy, which I don't, I, I don't. It, it, it just it's hard. You read an email. Yeah, you know, you really I, I don't sense that. I, I sense a young youth worker the, yeah. excitement. I see other people doing crazy stuff, and I'm going. I just I just got here. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know? The other word I wrote under compare was time. Just that that some of the things that she wants to see happen in her ministry are just going to take time. That health takes time and. Uh, you know, Josh, you're 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 finding yeah. that out in some of the things that you're doing. Is you know, starting this year, you are quote unquote the interim high school pastor right. at Saddleback oh, Church. There's no quotes. There's no quotes. <laughs> no. It's just well, straight on interim. You I, are. I put interim. Interim. Yeah. interim, but no quotes on the interim. Yeah, no yeah. quotes on the interim. Yeah, but no, it's true. I mean, I see. I feel like I can see the future, and I want to get there. But boy, it's it is a process, one step at a time. Absolutely, I have to remind myself of that every day. Yeah. And it, the, pro- the process involves so many components to it, you know, players and volunteers and, you know, it's so many different things that are in that process. Not yeah. Just and to really be successful, I, I mean, ideally, they would all work at the same time. They would all be at their peak at the same time. Uh, volunteers would be great. Student leadership would be great. The philosophy and the purposes and my spirit and our, our, the strength of our program. I mean, because if you but, don't see anything that will change, then you're probably not a leader. I mean, I hate to make comments about leaders and leadership because I don't really like eagles. But I just think that if you sure. are at a so place... you are the future of the church. So that's true. You fly that's with true. eagles. I have re- eagles' beaks. But I just think that uh, I think that if you look at everything you're doing, you're like, yeah, there's nothing to change. There's no discomfort. There's no... Then you don't really have a lot of drive. Would you like to um, give Ruth a parting shot in your best Ireland accent? I don't have accents. No, no. but if you did, that would be a good time to break my last name is McGill. Which I'm yeah. told it was McGill Cuddy, which yeah. I think is Scott ish or Scott Irish or yeah. Irish. Mm. So give us a shot. I don't have, I don't know how to do can that. You do a, a Blarney Stone? Can you do a haiku? <laughs> Dang it. I wish I could. Well played. <laughs> All right. Um, hey, gang, please don't use my name. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Okay. No problem, Bob. I have been in youth ministry for about seven years now. I've done plenty of retreats and camps along the way. I just got back from a speaking engagement at a retreat. 
where my students were not in attendance. And there were dozens of kids who came forward during an invitation, and almost the whole room was quiet, crying, and, well, you've, you've been there. Here's the unfortunate thing. It seemed like every youth leader there was overwhelmed with excitement, but the whole time I was skeptical of how these kids were going to take this home and continue on. I've seen over and over these kids get a camp high and lose it the second they return home. And then there were certain kids who Maybe all I could you think of... speak in such a way that makes everybody cry. Right. <laughs> and then there were certain Great. kids who I... <clears throat> who all I could think was they were seeking attention. So his question is, so am I facing burnout? What? Or have I just become, well, basically, because no, he's just saying. coming face to face and taking another step towards wisdom, I think. It's well, great. You know, Wait, are, facing burnout or what was the response? Well, of facing burnout meaning that am I just being skeptical or am Cynical. I just becoming wiser yeah. over the years? Oh, what are your so thoughts? So even wow, we maybe could be going towards the right way. Oh. Dude, that's a concern with everybody. I mean, yeah. anybody, there's always that chance that somebody's going to take a step forward and it's going to be fake and not genuine, or it will be genuine, but they're still going to take a couple steps back. I mean, there's always that. Anytime you help somebody grow spiritually, that is always the risk in every situation. I mean, that's just human nature. But don't you think this is also one of those situations where as leaders we raise the bar <coughs> Okay. And we have these high expectations. So we look at these kids who look broken and they come, you know, they drop to their knees or they're responding. They're in an environment like a retreat, which is, you know, just ripe for spiritual growth. Right. A and, and we see them respond and then we go, well, I want you to live like that every day. Would right. you live with sure. that passion and that, that sense yeah. of your desire for God and your need for forgiveness every day and we we raise that bar really high so then we call them you know mountain high experiences or these spiritual retreats that don't last anything but I wonder if that isn't doesn't point back to our unrealistic expectations which is which the expectation that they do it all the time yeah every time there's a oh that I that they live you. that they live like that and that's they why leave we're the going, mountaintop and they live like that in the yeah no they're they're there's a place for both. I mean, there's a place for both. You have to be able to persevere day in and day out. You have to be able to, you know, that every, the million small decisions that you make every day have to be done, you know, in the Holy Spirit, according to God's Word, in, in something where God is a part of everything you're doing. Obviously, it needs to happen day in and day out. But there is a place for those exciting, that magnificent, the awe-inspiring, the... I mean, there's a place for the mountaintop experiences. I mean, we've, we've done them for years, yep. and they're not evil. Now, to expect someone to live with that kind of intensity every day, I mean, there's only a few personality types that do that. You know, yeah. I mean, it's... That's but just, I think that's not realistic. I agree with what you're saying. One of the things we have done, though, is we've addressed that at, at those camps, like before yeah. they've left and said, you know... You're experiencing a mountaintop experience right now. You know this is not, it's going to be hard to maintain totally. this and for this to sustain throughout the next week or month or you know yeah. few months or whatever. And so I mean we've kind of addressed that and 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 also follow up intentionally on some of that. You know we followed up on that intentionally of here's some action steps and a month later going. Yeah. You, you know everything from leaders writing personal notes to mass emails. You know I mean. Yeah. Well, and not letting, you, you know, those are the times, you remember, we'll break, we'll break kids up into um, what school they go to mm. and say, connect before you go home. Let's make some, you know, some of you need yeah. to hold each other accountable. Yeah. Some of you need to have a prayer time on campus. Right. You know, so let's create this enthusiasm that you're taking right now and, and wrap community around it. So uh, there's, a little more, there's a little more depth to it. I'd also say the, these experiences, too, you know, my spiritual journey, you know, from 80,000 feet is you look at it, it's made up of a lot of these little, these little times from a conference right. to uh, hearing a great speaker and I'm making decisions in my heart and I'm fired up and then I get home and all of a sudden reality hits. And, you know, it isn't necessarily just an adolescent picture. This has been kind of a picture of my whole spiritual journey. Yeah, I kind of view it the same way. Like we're almost, as youth workers, we're putting little building blocks in, into the students' lives all the time. And at a mountaintop experience or the retreat, that might be a big block. But it's still, I mean, you're still adding to their character and <coughs> their integrity and to their value system. 
I mean, they might not live that out every day, but you, they have been forever changed in that moment. And that's, don't you think that as you teach a weekend service or as you go on a re self retreat, you're, you're putting those pieces and instilling those values in students? So because it's a big emotional experience and part of it wears off, that isn't the end of the world because hopefully and prayerfully they'll be changed forever. Yep. You, but I say don't speak in such a way that everyone in the room is crying if you don't want them to cry. Yeah. <laughs> Try to be cold no, and factual. Just, you well, can, it you might can not be even inspiring without playing on people's feelings. It's possible. <laughs> it's possible to ignore your natural charisma and have some substance. Well, in defense of in defense of this person, I who, have no idea who this guy is. No, too, so well, we, it's not we, even necessarily a guy. We do. It's this a guy. Is PDYM community friend. Good dude. I don't know. Who it is. is in defense of him. Is you'd also say. Um, you know, I've spoken at things before where I'm done speaking and then a music leader gets up and can lead them into, you know, and then the youth pastor gets up and, and he or she is able to take them into a, you know, it's not always the speaker that, oh yeah, totally, that creates that, so. But you could kill it. I think there's probably a little <laughs> bit of a disconnect too when it's not your own students that you're journeying with, you know, that. Mm, it's interesting. I mean, there's, pro I think there's. You know, when you know what that person has gone through to get to this point. Yeah, that's good, Janet. You're right. It's it changes your perspective. Yeah. You appreciate it a little yeah. Bit. Yeah, you're right. yeah. It's not as much like the cattle are coming up and confessing. It's, well, I know that, that yeah. sheep, and she has wandered away, and that's good. And she should be crying. Yeah. <laughs> I know that what she traumatic. does. <laughs> uh, this subject title is Death in the Family. Okay. Okay. Why are you looking at me? Let, I'm AKA give him three, haiku. Two, one, bit from haiku. Miguel. I don't make death jokes. Oh, really? Oh. Felt like it was kind of an. Kind of I don't your, make your death territory. jokes unless I know what the person's talking about. If All it's right. Well, no, this, here this is a. Um, <laughs> this yeah. this guy's name is Andy. If it's um, Heath Ledger, Andy. Who cares? <laughs> oh wow. Okay, you gotta oh, tell now your you people. Have to say oh, okay, I here we go. That, here it <laughs> is. I can't believe you walked into that one. I know. I forgot. I didn't want to steal the show. All right. I, so I didn't want to hijack the show. I'm apologizing for that. Well, go ahead can, and read the can, email. Okay, I'll tell the story. Matt's friend. He was telling us this before the podcast. Matt's friend instant messaged him and said, "If you." Um, uh, this sometimes sound He's a like guy who's I, I was anything, actually you know? just thinking Were that. Were you? Well, first off, you shouldn't put it in, in like front of a camera. No, nobody saw me put it in. <laughs> oh, I don't I know. I heard it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Click. Invisalign. I just, his, I just, his, his it's braces. only been in for a week. I have my bottom braces, and I sometimes feel like I'm. <laughs> now, what's motivating you to get braces right now? Free. I was going to say, have you seen his bottom teeth? But I, 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 give I, you. Oh! <laughs> but I did. I Come on, I was my good. bottom oh. teeth aren't that bad. Um, oh, aren't I? Good? <laughs> they're, they're British. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. That oh, was easy. my. Um, so, finish the story. Okay. So anyway. There's a guy that so he's guy he, with, but he doesn't go. know me that well. Okay. He's known me for like so six months. So, he instant messages him yesterday and yeah. says, did you hear Heath Ledger <laughs> died? And Matt instant messages him back and says, did you know that, you know, 100,000 people died of AIDS today? Who cares about Heath Ledger? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But it does matter because, well, actually not as because much. Because he was a movie star. That's right. Here we go. Andy Notice. He says, he I've been, famous. I've got a situation uh, that I'd hope you could give me some advice on. Oh, well, I have a youth right. worker who's been a part of our youth group for about three years. He was diagnosed with cancer three years ago. At that time, they said he had six months to live. <laughs> He's on my gut, Rich. <laughs> you gotta take the thing out. <laughs> am I really? Am I lifting that bad? No, 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 no. We're about wow. to see. Oh, wow. Wow. oh you've That's gotten awesome. better at that. It's like third well, grade retainer well, season again. <laughs> I think it's great. It's never too late. Never too late. Invisalign. <laughs> um, <laughs> dot com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's more than dodgeball. <laughs> <laughs> he was diagnosed with cancer three years ago. At the time, that he, he said he had six months to live. Nevertheless, God has blessed our ministry by extending his life. Now, however, his disease has reached a point where there are no more viable mm -hmm. treatments for him, and his health is declining to the point where he has two to three months left mm -hmm. to live. As a result, he's had to step out of leadership. Do you have any suggestions as to how to let our kids know or process the situation? 
how to deal with the aftermath when he finally goes to be with the Lord? It's a great question, wow. Andy. No. You know, um, there's you, the the thing about death that's that's interesting. You have the the progressive where you get to Journey. really watch a person die mm. like they're experiencing here, or the situation. Matt, you remember where did you know Steve Williams? Yeah. You know, Steve Williams was one of my volunteers probably when you were... In high school. Yeah, he was driving on the 405, right? Yeah, he was killed in a car accident and Mm. was one of my main, main volunteers. And, you know, I had to clean out his room and, you know, process the whole thing. He was gigantic. He was behemoth. Tall. He wasn't. Yeah. But he yeah. was. And he's like, like six we six. Didn't he's fight him. We college took you basketball down because we didn't care about you. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were afraid. But you know that was more of a shocking yeah. situation, and um, you know that is, you know, they're both are very very difficult. Yeah. Um, you know, if I had my choice, which sounds like an odd thing, I, I'd rather be in the situation that that Andy's in, where you, you actually get to process that a yeah. little bit, and you get to journey and be a part of it. And so. You know, it's like when you talk about pain in youth ministry. When you start talking about pain, kids will start talking about their pain. Totally. When you're not afraid to talk about death and eternal life, and I mean, we're all we've all got a limited time shell. When you start talking about that, all of a sudden, it gives kids the freedom to talk and and to interact. So, you just know. thinking about the the idea of allowing them to ask questions and not being shocked by their questions and not being, you know somehow setting that up so that it was they felt safe and felt like they could ask right. anything and you know just that idea of like that you know there you know there's tons of questions you know that they don't get it that they don't understand it that there's you know even that part of not understanding blaming god and you know all of that and why did it take why is he in this why is he suffering you know and i just think for to allow students to process that and with permission and with honesty, you know, as as best as they can, yeah. mm-hmm. and not expecting, you know, not expecting them to be mature because it, this is a sensitive situation, or not expecting them to have the right question because this is a sensitive situation, you know. Yeah, right. And keeping him in front of the youth ministry, whether it be through story, you know, I talked to That's whatever what his name is, talked to him this week. Yeah. Well, I think even honoring him, like I'm going, if I'm if I'm the guy with cancer. If if that if Andy is the pastor to students, if if he was honoring this guy's legacy, yeah, you know that there is you know not that you have to have a memorial building to him, but the guy's you know the guy spent several years as a youth ministry volunteer, you know let's let's honor that this side of this side of heaven. I mean you know he's obviously going to get his his um, you know rewards from well, from I, the Lord, but I was thinking about too students serving the family and mm. serving the the wife or the husband or whoever you know in other situations, serving the other kids and what could the student ministry do to rally around that family who was about to go through a hard time? Of course, that adds further endearment, you yeah. know, between your students and sure. this volunteer. But I think it'd be worth it. I mean, that could but be that's a defining a, that's moment. That's a real part of life. Yeah. Well, and it will be life changing. They will be I different. Agree. They will be different. You know, individuals and different followers of Christ because they've you experienced hope that. Be different. No well, it could I, be a mountaintop. Experience. Everybody goes to funerals, and very few people get. No, I think influence. that up close I mean, and engaged. It. You hope so. That's all. Sure. It's a, it's a good opportunity. <laughs> Jana, your cup's a little more half full. <laughs> yeah, just which I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just th- I think the big picture is you don't you don't run away from it. You don't yeah. you don't pretend it's not there. You you're honoring to the guy. You're you're vocal with the kids in your ministry about what's happened in his life. You're getting close to him, so you're modeling you're modeling compassion and love and you know all the things that you would want modeled if sure. you were in that situation. Your kids are kids are seeing that as well. Andy, I'm sure you will do the right thing. I bet you trust your intuition. You're going to do great. Um, this is a email from John Kelly, and um, this guy is a youth pastor at, um, in Laramie, Wisconsin. I'm pretty new to the podcast, but I love it. My coworkers don't understand it when I randomly bust out laughing. I've been working hard to catch up. Blah blah blah. Here's here's his situation. Um, is his ministry is made up of small groups, but he wants to kind of have to pull them all together for a large group 
but he's a volunteer. All his other workers are volunteer, full-time students, the whole bit. He's hoping to um, get money approved to do the pick six deal, and um, it's pick six. Pick and, six. Andy is, just smiled. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he woke up. He woke up. Hello. <laughs> In a good way, like that'll be good for him. Yeah. But basically, he's looking for how do I get how do I get um, content for a large group gathering, and um, I just wrote down S Y M freebies. Yeah, totally. We have a bunch of stuff. I mean, if you can't get a pick six, which is going to give you a lot of, you know, weekend and, you know, large is group there a service free in youth the camp. resource website, Youth Pastor, Pastor to Youth? Pastor to Youth dot com is partnered or with Simply. Isn't he a bunch with of, us or bunch something? Of stuff. He's great. Super series is that you could purchase yeah, we have, six we have in there. a lot of freebie stuff, right? Tons Andy? of free Tons samples of and yeah. free weeks. Yeah. Yeah. And that's Laramie, Wyoming, by the way. My parents, I, I, uh, I dated a girl from Laramie, Wyoming. You did? Yeah. You said Wisconsin. So I thought oh, did I say Wisconsin? Girl or a cow? Um, <laughs> did they have girls in Laramie? <laughs> they do. They do. Okay, okay. You guys both have haircuts today? Oh, Matt and I. Haircuts or hairstyles? I've had a hair. He has a haircut. He has a style. I brush my no, hair. No, he does the not have a haircut. Since he's being at Saddleback. No way. Hair, hair style. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another okay, micro I have email. to go. Okay, oh, wait, Janice. Go, Janice. Is well, it one? We're only 50 minutes into the podcast. We still have 10 more minutes. Until <laughs> <laughs> the tape runs out. That's All right, no, <laughs> Jana has to go. Jana, why don't you give us a little update on what's happening with the baby? Um, it's still in womb. All right, there's it's the still baby cooking. In there. there's, there's the update. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wait, we're not going to end the show? Like you guys love. No, let's oh, keep right. going. <laughs> don't you think? Maybe Andy, Andy. Andy, you want to It's Doug and Friends, Andy, not what? Jana and Friends. <laughs> 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 Amazing. Bye, Jana. Bye. Bye, Jana. Bye, Jana. Have fun. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, you're going in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> not safe for podcast. <laughs> Beep. Not safe for podcast. <laughs> um, Can we talk bad about Jana now? No, why don't we get Andy? Come on, hey, let's in. get Andy to talk bad about that. He'll Andy, fall asleep. We got on, plenty of Jump those. in. Let's go. Put the headphones on. Can we on. turn the air on when you're walking over here, though? Because it's hot in here. Can yeah. we order a pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I, why do you take notes? What do we do with the notes anyway? We use it for the show notes. Yeah, oh, show notes? Because yeah. yeah. we used to do those. How many clicks do we get on those? We used to do those funny links. Yes. Yeah. That's, when, jo- that's when Josh worked here. Yeah. Do we still do them? I don't, know. I don't think no. it's worth it anymore. How do you know? You gotta have show notes for your podcast. Everybody has. Everybody, Everybody has? have show notes? No. Yeah. Keeping up with the Joneses. The podcast. DFC does. They might not else. offer them on on uh, spaces.msn.com, <laughs> but most well, certainly they do. Ladies and gentlemen, the premiere of Andy Brazelton. <laughs> Woo! Hey, hey! Thanks for having me. Absolutely, Andy. It's good to have you here. And he's gonna mention. How's your youth ministry going? It's actually going really good. Yeah. Three, two off weeks, last two weeks. Two. One. Is it simply? What? Is it going simple? No, it's super complex. Ooh, okay. But got some resources for that. Complexinfrastructure.com. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The way Andy does ministry, he does more than dodgeball. It is more than dodgeball. <laughs> <laughs> dot com. Dot com. That's what. I love it. All right. All right. So, do we want to talk about more emails, or do we want to talk about other stuff? Well, I wrote AB on here. This this oh. guy is oh. um, Chuck That's Aiden, Andy director of Youth and Families, Calvary Lutheran Church, um, Apollo Beach, Florida. Basically, saying he used to he went from a church, Andy, that had a lot of stuff, and now they have it's a small church. There's no there's no budget. Said also, my wife and I attended the National Youth Ministry Conference in Indianapolis last Very nice. year. All right. Mm-hmm. And he says, fantastic event. How's that event going, by the way? We're almost sold really out, aren't we? Yep, pretty close. Yeah. That's going to be cool. Yep. 30 days away. We're filming videos. We're actually flying Jake and I. I heard you're flying we're Saturday flying, night. Yeah. yeah. How fun is that? You're flying out there early? Yeah. Well, no, we're flying out there like this this coming weekend. That's good. Shoot videos at group and. And then come back? Yeah. yeah he's coming back Monday. Yeah. When's the conference? February, end of February? February 20th. 20th. No, it's not the 20th. Oh, it's like gosh. the 23rd. We've got nine weeks. Oh, we leave the 20th. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like the 22nd, 20th. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Friday, yeah, Saturday, you should Sunday. know. You're going to be there. But once it's on my calendar, I don't really think about it. Oh. Anyway, Andy, this guy needs <laughs> some resources. So That's great. why don't you just Thank you you help much. him out and make it happen? Um, you should give him simply access. Ooh. That'd be cool. That is a good one. Dot com. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's simply access? That's Andy's brainchild. This is totally cool thing. It's fun. Yeah. Cool. 
Kind of the uh, energy of questions has kind of gone out right now, hasn't it? No. Hey, hey welcome. welcome. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to go. Let's do no, it. Let's, let's, let's do one get more. plastic shards in my eye. Pull out oh. one more random question, and we'll, we'll end on that one, then we'll just talk. A random question? Um, well, this is from Ryan Seegers. He's 24. Okay. And he's been full-time youth ministry and faithful podcast since the beginning. I listen to a lot of podcasts, mostly teaching, but yours keeps me laughing. Ours isn't teaching. Um, my family and I have just transitioned to a new church, which is much larger than the one we came from, a church of 600 to a church of 3,500. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, it's bit, a little bit bigger. Yeah. Uh, it's an interesting transition, to say the least. Anyway, in my third month in a new church, it's been a fun challenge. I'd love to come hang out with you guys for the weekend. I could definitely use the break and some insights from the other use guys. Use the break after three months? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It's a big church, man. It's 24. I know. Yeah. Anyway, great show. Doesn't adrenaline keep you going for six? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. The honeymoon? Maybe. You know what? Here's what it made me think of. Andy, why don't you see if you can't... Let's, <coughs> let's save his email address. Is, here's what I was thinking. Because we have done what some... What were you thinking? Well, we've done Tell some us. conferences at group, which <coughs> is right in the middle of the country. Yep. Is I, I had this idea. What if we did like a guy like this? church of 3,500, mm -hmm. you know, a big church conference mm -hmm. where not speaker, or more like a forum, um, and do one more at a casual. Yeah, well, just... Like the gathering? Kind of like, kinda a brain, like the gathering. Brain trust for big church youth workers? But then do the same thing for small church youth workers. Oh, interesting. And have, have two of them happening. You know who does good things like that, though? The Leadership Network? I've only been to like one or two of their things. They, they do, do great things. I don't think they do anything in the youth ministry world. Which is though. weird, but they do cool brainstorm stuff. I mean, yeah. they do, yeah. like the way they... Well, there is going to be, this guy right here, Ryan is going to have some issues in a 3,500 person church that he's not going to have in a 350 person yeah. church. And 350 person guys are going to have issues that Ryan's not going to have. And I just think yeah. You know, doing a conference, fun, a discussion really that are, is more based on church size, not even youth group attendance necessarily, mm. but maybe. And then the issues encounter. Well, what about doing it based on it's just not necessarily denomination, yeah. but also doing it based on like church styles? Would that? Whoa. Wow. Pirate ship just came in. <laughs> Hit uh, the dock. <laughs> the shiver me timbers. <laughs> I mean, doesn't that influence it too? I mean, like United Methodist churches that are all whatever, high church, a lot of wood. I mean, do all those churches <laughs> yeah, but most, have a similar, or is it But is they it have denominational. I mean, most denominations have their own training. Denomination so. stuff, oh, okay. Yeah. So, I, so there's not really a need for that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that, you know, somebody who has got multiple staff is yeah. different than this person yeah. who says I'm part time, and I've got a church where I've got no resources. Oh, well, Debbie's picking up all the sandwiches. <laughs> Debbie's picking up the sandwiches. <laughs> Debbie's, girl, Debbie's very kind. <laughs> I wonder if she's realizing her mistake. You got to come back in the, to the frame too, Matt. <laughs> yeah, you're out of the come frame. Back into the okay. picture. There's Matt. There he is. Thanks, buddy. All right. So anyway, <laughs> let's, let's. That's cool. Let's That's a it. Okay. It's a great location for something like that. It is. It's not really the middle of the country. No. What is like? St. Louis? Is it Laramie, Wyoming? Wyoming? Laramie, Wyoming might be. And okay, why don't we do this? It's probably three quarters of a <laughs> mile. Let's give everybody, let's tell everybody no, we're done. No, it's a mile. Okay, Are we done? We're done, but we'll keep talking. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, see you guys bye. next week. But we can record till we're out of here. Oh. Oh.